At long last, it has been a long time since the last Ford Ranger moved off the line at the Twin Cities plant in Street, Paul, Minnesota. Seven years of Ford demanding there was no market for a minimal pickup in the US at the point when there was a F-150 full estimate truck for each need and wallet. Seven years of Ranger fans clamoring for its North American return while it kept on being a business achievement in whatever is left of the world. Seven years of General Motors and Toyota expanding deals and offer of the fair size pickup portion. Enough. Today Ford utilizes the North American International Auto Show in Detroit to reveal the 2019 Ranger that will go into generation not long from now. Available to be purchased in mid-2019, it comes from the worldwide Ranger sold and fabricated somewhere else. However it is reimagined for this market with a more forceful look and family relationship to the F-150. Planned and designed in Australia for the US, it depends on North American parts and will be worked in the retooled Michigan assembly plant. What has changed? The average size pickup fragment has seen deals increment 83% since 2014, when Ford chose to bring the truck back with 452,000 sold in 2017. We see an open door that didn't exist five years prior, said Todd Eckert, Ford Truck Bunch Promoting Director. Ten years prior, in the thick of the retreat, the F-150 territory kept on extending, and the value hold amongst it and the range kept on contracting. The F-150 was the money maker and got the assets while the Ranger went to a great extent unaltered. Deals kept on falling until the point that the business choice was made to cease it after the 2011 model year and divert clients to the base F-150 or SUV. Passage now observes the Ranger purchaser is not quite the same as the F-150 purchaser. The Ranger proprietor is a urban tenant who drives his truck to work, not for work, and uses it to play on the end of the week with his toys in the bed toward the rear. It isn't about moderateness however more about size, scale, and fuel productivity, says Eckert. Nor is it about pursuing the opposition. Expect previous Ranger proprietors, new clients, and even F-150 proprietors who need to scale back incline toward a truck that is less demanding to drive, stop, and fit in the carport. It can be contended that the two nameplates have, since beginning, been sufficiently diverse to draw in particular purchases with various requirements. Be that as it may, what has in reality changed is that the present purchasers keep on favoring trucks and SUVs over autos. More auto purchasers are probably going to incline toward a little urban pickup as a contrasting option to a SUV, and these same purchasers may never consider a F-150. The Ranger may never turn into the staple it used to be on American streets. Yet Ford considers it to be reasonable again. The 2019 Ranger will be offered with a solitary motor, the second age 2.3 litre twin scroll turbocharged four chamber EcoBoost motor with a produced steel crankshaft and Ford's new 10 speed programmed transmission, no manual. No specs are accessible yet. Yet the 2.3 litre gets 280 horsepower and 310 pounds to feet of torque in the Ford Explorer. There won't be a diesel accessible at dispatch, and authorities won't state on the off chance that one will be included later. Diesel is accessible in different markets, and Ford is including a diesel choice the 2019 F-15. Be that as it may, the planning is sensitive. The automaker is being sued for distorting outflows levels in its F-150 and F-350 Super Duty diesel pickups. Passage likewise isn't discussing a half-breed Ranger despite the fact that the organization intends to jolt everything from the Mustang to the F-150 in the years ahead. What's more, albeit different parts of the world get a Ranger Raptor. The rough terrain rendition anticipated that would be divulged one month from now isn't for North America. All things considered, we accept it is just a short time until the point when one is endorsed for North America to rouse the lineup. The 5 Traveler, body on outline Ranger does not have an aluminium body. It is steel, 
similar to the worldwide pickup it depends on. The North American rendition has another completely boxed casing. When putting pencil to paper, Ranger Plan boss Max Wolf began with the 2012 Ranger outline. He was conceded permit to change each board since he would work with new providers, and the plant was being retooled so there were no obstructions to rolling out improvements. Wolf gave the truck a strong steel front guard with enormous edge-mounted snares, a short shade for rough terrain, a harder-looking hood reaching out from the raked windshield, a high belt line, and bumper abrogates so the wheel curves seem to have more width. There is a steel guard, yet the rear end is aluminium with a spoiler and ranger stamped on it. The payload box rails are planned on account of North American purchases. There are remarkable grills for the XL, XLT, and lariat trims and discretionary LED lights. The 2019 model has 8 new wheel decisions. Some of them lined up with the F-150 for a selfless vibe. The truck comes in 8 hues with discretionary chrome and game appearance bundles. The Ranger will be offered in Super Cab and Super Crew Taxi Cab with 4 full size and 3 ways. The worldwide Ranger sold somewhere else has a standard taxi cab alternative. Portage isn't giving definite measurements. However they ought not change much from the worldwide Ranger, which would make it around 201 inches in length. 73 inches wide, and 71 inches high with a 127 inch wheelbase. Ground freedom is around 9 inches, making steps superfluous. It will highlight the landscape administration framework in the Raptor with four drive modes for normal, grass slash gravel slash snow, mud, ruts, and sand. Trail control is another element to Ford making its presentation on the Ranger. It sets a low vehicle speed, supplanting slope control and working like a rough terrain journey control that can be set to 1 mile per hour for shake creeping. It can be utilized on any exchange setting and set with directing wheel controls or by braking to the coveted speed, and it will set there. The framework was created by Ford. Others have comparative frameworks, However not all work in all modes and both exchange settings. The FX4 Rough Terrain Bundle has updated tires, a steel front bash plate, rough terrain tuned stuns and suspension, fortified skid plates mounted to the edge, and standard trail control and hill descent control. There is a two-speed exchange case and electronic locking back differential that is an alternative without the FX4 bundle. Wellbeing highlights incorporate blindside identification with trailer scope, pre-collision help, path continue cautioning and help, accessible versatile voyage control, and crisis braking. Inside there are two shading decisions black and medium slag. There's additionally SYNC 3 with a 8.0 inch touch screen and waterproof stockpiling under the back seat. We made this a genuine truck, said Rick Bolt, a fitting name for the Rangers program build. We expect best in class payload when we dispatch. There was theory the North American showcase Ranger would be not the same as the worldwide truck, maybe even ride on a unibody stage. In any case, it is a similar engineering. Created in Australia yet with new parts, some common with the F-150. Also, the Ranger experienced an indistinguishable strenuous testing from the F-150, Bolt said. Valuing has not been reported but rather should begin beneath $25,000.